Hey guys, how's it going? So today Aaron and I are working on the fountain in our back formal garden. Uh, as many of you know, Last spring I was trying to fix the fountain. I was trying to tip the urn a little bit and uh, feed a piece of tubing down from the bottom of the urn down to the pump and I accidentally pushed the whole urn off. It fell and popped a big hole in the bottom of the fountain, uh, which I do have all the pieces still. I can still repair it, but that's not what this video is about um, because I actually don't have enough time to do that. So we're kind of doing a quick fix today just to fill it up and make it look pretty because in two days we are opening our garden up um, for a small group of people People to come tour it uh, so this is kind of like a last minute thing just to make it look presentable let me show you the fountain real quick so here we are in the back formal garden you can see that the alliums are just now starting to lose color which is such a bummer I was hoping they would last just a few more days but I think people will still be able to kind of get like I don't know the idea uh, and so here is where I broke the fountain <laughs> Aaron's laughing at me. How'd you do that? I already, I already said. <laughs> um, so I was trying to tip this fountain ever so slightly to feed that piece of tubing like between here down into the uh, bottom where the pump is and it just fell off and cracked a big hole. But you can see I've got all the pieces. I've repaired fountains before. Um, so eventually we'll do a video like that, but it's pretty gross right now and we just don't have time to be kind of messing around with that. So we are gonna fill it with flowers today. No reaction from you. Yes, <laughs> I want the flowers. So initially I thought, you know what, maybe I just won't ever fix the fountain and I'll just fill it with soil, make it a planter and call it good. Uh, but you know, I don't know, I kind of want the option of being able to fix it again. So we went and picked up some really pretty hanging baskets that are on sale right now. All of the annuals are starting to go like deeply discounted uh, because it's starting to get really hot and they'll probably stop selling as good. Um, so we found some really, really beautiful baskets that we're going to run drip to. We're gonna fill up the basin and put one in the top. Look at these gorgeous baskets. And they're huge. Like we've got, let's go over them real quick. This one has Supertunia Morning Glory Charm which is beautiful. I planted it up in our front garden. I'm thinking that's Supertunia Mulberry Charm. What do you think, Aaron? It looks like, or Mini Rose Veined. No, I think that one is, it's a charm. It mulberry? looks like, no, I think Mulberry is more purple. Is it? Is there Hold a on, tag? I think there's tags in here. Oh yeah, yeah, here they are. Oh yeah, Rose Hot Veined. Hot, oh, it's a Rose Vein. <laughs> You're right. You were right. <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> no, no, no. I okay. want to say it once. <laughs> this basket right here has Supertunia, Bordeaux, Royal Velvet, and Trailing Blue Veined, which is this one right here. And then this one looks similar. Trailing Blue Veined in that one, Royal Velvet, and then Royal Magenta. This one I love. Royal Velvet, Bordeaux, Diamond Frost, Euphorbia, and then this one looks like Vista Fuchsia and what else? Pink Star Charm. And I'm thinking that we're going to put maybe this one in the very top urn because it doesn't look as good as the others from overhead. And the ones that go in the basin you'll be seeing from overhead. So I think that is the idea. So there are a couple of things we have to do. We have to go gather up some of our old bricks that we pulled up from a project a while ago. Um, and we're gonna stack some bricks in the basin of the fountain just to raise the hanging baskets up high enough. And then we're also going to run drip. So right here, there's a flower bed. We've got all of our supplies out. There's already drip line running in that flower bed. So we're just gonna uh, tie into that line and just light, lightly trench. Is that a thing? We're gonna barely trench a piece of quarter inch tubing underneath the grass here. This hardly ever gets walked on. Um, the mower goes over it once or twice a week and that's it. And then we'll just kind of tuck it under the boxwoods. Let me turn the camera on and explain. I'm such a visual person that I always like to see it. So there's Russell. Russell, stay away from my drink. Hey, 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 hey. Boop, 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 boop. Back it up, buddy. So there's a drip tube underneath the mulch right here. We'll unearth that and tap into it. And then we'll just use our step edger to make a tiny trench across the grass. Then once we get to the middle section, we will just tuck the tubing underneath the boxwoods. And then we'll scoot a little bit of this gravel out of the way, just enough to cover up the tubing. And we'll go up through the drain hole in the basin. And then we can just configure all of our tubes to each one of the baskets. And then we'll drop one down through this urn because there is a drain hole in the urn and then this is open inside so we can come out the bottom and tap in for the top basket sounds simple enough 
easy. Yeah. Drip seems like the more labor intensive part of this project, so I think I want to tackle that first and get it over with. Before we do that though, let me just show you the supplies. Very minimal supplies here. I've got the quarter inch tubing. This is from the Waterwise kit from Proven Winners. Um, we've got a step edger to make our trench. We've got a punching tool. So we'll use that tool to punch a hole in the half inch tubing and then we'll use a straight coupler right here that will go into the half inch tubing and then we'll attach this and that's what we'll take off across the grass. Once we reach the fountain we'll um, put a cross in and configure five drips because we've got five baskets and then we've got five half gallon an hour emitters which I think we run this zone for an hour every day so each basket will get a half gallon of water every day. We'll adjust accordingly. This little tool helps us put the emitters on the tube without killing our fingers. And then these stakes, we run the tube through so that we can stake them into each basket so that they stay put. And that's it. And Russell is never far away. Russell, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Hey, buddy. didn't go exactly how I was hoping it would go. We just made the hole in the fountain a lot worse, but it fell in exactly the same spot, so it's the same hole, it's just bigger now. It's a good thing probably that we were planning on doing flowers. That may be just the route we have to go from now on until we decide what we want to do with this area. So let me show you exactly where the tubing ended up and I'll show you the worst hole. So this right here is where we access the tubing and then it comes right in between these two pavers. You can see it right there. And then we trenched a little line through the grass all the way to the other side and then it pops up right there and it goes underneath the boxwoods all the way Ooh, it gets bright in here it goes all the way under till about here where the cans are and then we just trenched a little line over to the fountain here and then it goes up through the drain hole and we did go ahead and we put all of our emitters on so we came to one cross here um, and then it just kind of spiders from there and then one of them goes up through this and out the top. Here's the state of the fountain now. Ooh, and we um, kind of upset a wasp nest, which is kind of disconcerting because I had my hand down in that hole yesterday searching for all of these pieces um, from last year. So this is the new piece that we uh, kind of broke off today. Not looking great. <laughs> So all we have left to do basically is go grab the bricks so we can raise the baskets up to the right height, um, put the emitters in each basket, clip off the hangers, and that's pretty much all there is to this project. And this thing can be scaled. Like, you know, you don't have to obviously fill a fountain like this. You can do a container. Like hanging baskets are just such a good thing if you're in a hurry or you want instant impact. Oftentimes they're grown like really early on in a greenhouse, so they're way ahead of our other annuals that we plant. So if you have like a wedding or a graduation or whatever in your yard, some kind of event, and you need instant impact, go grab a hanging basket, cut the hangers off, and just plop it down in your pot. You don't even have to plant it. Got the bricks. I think what we're gonna do is stack six of them, two wide, um, in each kind of opening on either side. This is how you avoid cleaning out your fountain. That's what we should title this video. Yeah. <laughs> 
there it is, all full of flowers. It looks so pretty. And I honestly think that this is a better use of this fountain than putting water in it because the water did not spill from the top. It was just always an empty urn and the water would spill out these into the basin, which was, you know, it was a nice sound and everything, but it never made sense because I couldn't plant this one up because there's a drain hole that would drain into the fountain, which would get the water all gross. So I always just left that one empty and now they can just drain into the basin and they still have, uh, you know, the water will drain out, um, any excess water. And it's like instant impact. Look at this. Let me go around to the other side. Now this one's gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Look at that. And especially once that starts to spill, all of these actually will. I'm actually thinking of swapping these two out because I've got two very similar ones. Hold on, let me do that quick. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I like having the more pink basket up front to break up the other two that are more purple. But just check this out. I think this is the most fun this fountain has ever looked. So that's pretty much all there is to this project. It's pretty simple. I mean, just the fact that the drip irrigation was so close by, we were able to get drip to them. So other than weekly fertilizing and then maybe trimming midsummer, that's all we're gonna have to do with these uh, hanging baskets. And we were gonna just do this really quick. We went out and grabbed the hanging baskets this morning and thought we're just gonna get this project done quick so the fountain looks better because um, we have a mile long list of things that we still wanna get done before the tour happens. Um, but then I thought you guys might like to see this project because you will be seeing um, the fountain and garden tour video garden tours here soon um, so that way you'd know like kind of the infrastructure of how we got it to look that way and it's just such a good idea if you have containers or something that you just don't know what to do with and you need something quick this is such a good thing to do just grab a hanging basket um, and pop it in so anyway thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this video and we will see you in the next one bye